Your present thoughts are past echoes. Today is yesterday's tomorrow, and the model of societal living began in Mesopotamia. Wait till you hear this. The Konya Plain stretches for hundreds of miles across central Turkey and almost 60 years ago, in a remote spot some 30 miles from the regional capital of Konya, a team of archaeologists began exploring two small hills. A fork in a local footpath and two mounds themselves gave the name to the site. Fork, Chital in Turkish, and Mound, Hoyuk, combines to form Chatal Hoyuk, Fork Mound. Our emergence back into the world scorched by cataclysm would see Egypt and Mesopotamia rise to great heights in the game of empires. People forced into shelter were the ones who re-emerged and places like Derin Kugu are clearly showing an effort to bunker up large swathes of people, and this only happens when there is hostility happening outside in the open. Hundreds of thousands of people lived in these underground cities across this region, the same region the re-emergence occurs and this is an unmistakable pattern of survival. The discovery of these people is the subject of a major archaeological investigation, one which is in full swing in Turkey. Here is the ancient Chatelhuyuk site, and it's one of the first urbanisation models in Mesopotamia's history. It is on UNESCO's World Heritage List, and it is one of the clearest windows into the 9,000 year old Anatolian lifestyle. The site was discovered in 1958, with the first excavation starting in 1961, and that the site was dated to the Neolithic period over 9,000 years ago. Archaeologist Newman Arslan from the Chattelhuyuk Excavation Project team says that Chattelhuyuk has offered very intriguing data to the world of archaeology. The art, symbolism, their complex societal structure, these kinds of settlements were known to exist in the Near East, but not in central Anatolia. Arslan then stated that he believes that the transition from hunting and gardening to the first urban model occurred in Chateau Huet. We now live in metropolises and we have to follow the urban culture given by those crowded metropolises. But the people of Chateau Huet first tried out the urban city culture here 9,000 years ago. The archaeological team noted their societal system saying there was a completely egalitarian societal structure. There was no public spaces, no common meeting areas. There was lots of houses, and this shows the importance of working together and supporting each other. Chattel Huyck is a very rare example of a well-preserved Neolithic settlement and has been considered one of the key sites for understanding human prehistory for some decades. The site is exceptional for its substantial size and great longevity of the settlement. It's distinctive layout of back-to-back -back houses with roof accesses. The presence of a large assemblage of features including wall paintings and reliefs representing the symbolic world of the inhabitants. It's here the re-emergence from the cave systems back into societal culture occurred. It's here we find the Venus which assimilates godlike perceptions to the modern times. But what do you guys think about Chattel Huyuk? One of the first cities to host the re-emergence of our kind. Comments below. Thank you for watching.